In this video, we're going to do the CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheet finding slope from an equation. Our directions are to find the slope of each line. The easiest way to do this is to think of the slope-intercept form. Remember, slope-intercept form is y equals m times x plus b. So for y equals mx plus b, y and x are your variables, which when graphing would be a coordinate, x comma y. b is your y-intercepts, so where this line intersects the y-axis, and m is the slope. So looking at the first equation, we have y equals negative 5 halves x minus 5. This is already in the form of y equals mx plus b. So the slope is this negative 5 halves, because that's our m. So the answer to number 1 is negative 5 halves. Let's go over to number 2. Again, we're using y equals mx plus b, and number 2 is already in that format. So we're locating our m, or our slope, which is negative 4 thirds. So negative 4 thirds is the answer for number 2. Number 3, again, it's in the form of y equals mx plus b. But remember, negative x is the same as negative 1 times x. So really, we have y equals negative 1 x plus 3. So in this case, our slope is negative 1. And our y-intercept would be that positive 3. For number 4, y equals mx plus b. Our b is a negative 1. And our slope m is a negative 4. So negative 4 is the answer for number 4. Number 5, we have 2x minus y equals 1. This is not in slope-intercept form, so we're going to rewrite this equation. In order to do that, we're going to move the 2x to the other side. So we're subtracting 2x from both sides. So we'll be left with negative y equals 1 minus 2x. So I'm just going to rewrite this order and say negative 2x plus 1. We're almost to slope-intercept form, except that this y is negative. And in order to remove a negative, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So when we multiply both sides by negative 1, we'll get a positive y is equal to distributing the negative 1. That's equal to negative 2x times negative 1, which is a positive 2x plus negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Now we have y equals mx plus b, where our b is negative 1, and our m is that positive 2. So 2 is the answer for number 5. Going on to number 6, again we're going to have to rewrite this. So let's go ahead and isolate the y. So we're going to move the x to the other side by subtracting the x. And we'll get that 2y equals a negative x minus 8. Or plus a negative 8, however you want to write that. Now we need to divide both sides by a positive 2 to isolate the y. That'll give us y on the left-hand side, and that's going to be equal to splitting up this fraction, negative 1 half x minus 8 over 2. So you can see I just rewrote this as negative x over 2 minus 8 over 2. And I know that negative x over 2 is the same as negative 1 half x. So now we're in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b, where that b is actually a negative 4, since 8 divided by 2 is a positive 4, and we're subtracting. And our m is going to be negative one half.
For number 7, we have 8x plus 3y equals a negative 9. We need to isolate the y in order to get it into slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. In order to do that, we're going to subtract an 8x from both sides. We'll have 3y on the left-hand side, and that's going to be equal to a negative 8x minus 9, or you could say plus a negative 9. Now, our last step is to divide by a positive 3. And when we divide by 3 on the left, we have to divide by 3 on the right. So we'll get y on the left-hand side, so now the y is isolated, and that's going to be equal to negative 8x over 3 plus a negative 9 over 3. So negative 8x over 3, which is negative 8 thirds x, plus a negative 9 over 3. Now that our equation is in the form of y equals mx plus b, we can see that our slope is at negative 8 thirds. And I'll go ahead and stop this video here. Remember to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and continue on to the next video where we'll do more problems for this worksheet, finding slope from an equation.